Hey everybody, welcome back to the shop. This is Todd with Industrial Comfort. Today I'm going to show you a really unique way to transfer holes for drilling so that you don't have to actually take measurements for where you're going to drill on your workpiece. Let me show you how. So there are some components like this that have a pass-through hole meaning the hole goes all the way through the piece and it's easy as putting on your workpiece and using a pencil or a scribing tool to just mark the location where you want to drill the hole. Now in the case of this component, I don't have that luxury. So the holes do not go all the way through. So the technique that I'm going to show you today is essentially going to be using screws to help you mark the location on the piece you need to drill out. And so what you're going to need to do is find, in this case, this is an adjustment hole. It is not what I'm using to attach this roller. So I need to mark these four holes. So what I've done is use four screws that are the same size and thread pattern. And what I'm going to need to do is sacrifice them to make these little pins that I'm ultimately going to end up screwing into the piece. And then I'm going to overlay the workpiece and tap it in place, which will give us the marked locations. Now, sure, I could go ahead and use a caliper or a ruler and measure everything out, but that's gonna take a long time given the fact that I've gotta drill 16 of these holes or at least mark the location 16 times. So let me show you how to make these sacrificial um, points, if you will, and then I'll show you how we're gonna transfer the uh, holes from here to mark the location where we're going to need to drill on the workpiece. Okay, while not a mandatory step, what I've done here is use a bolt cutter and just snip the heads off these bolts or screws. Now, I did that just so that we'd have a bunch less material to use. Now, what I'm going to do is just zoom out real quick and I'm going to use a drill. I'm going to put the end of this screw into my chuck and now I'm going to bring it over to my belt grinder. Now you can use any sort of belt sander, you can even use a file to do this. But I'm going to show you how to create a point like this which we'll use to mark our workpiece. Okay, I'm over at my belt grinder and what I'm going to do is take the drill angle it down and I'm just gonna touch the end of the screw while activating the drill into this belt which will help us create the, the point. And that's it. I'll do this three more times and then we'll show you how to transfer the holes. Okay with the points all done I'm just going to screw them in place. Okay, so this is what we're left with. Now, in order to do the transfer between the piece of acrylic and this component we have here, I can either lay the part here, put the acrylic on top and tap it, or I can lay the acrylic on the bottom, put the component on top, and tap it. Either way, I need to make sure that it's got a cradle to secure everything in the same consistent place. So I've got some MDF here, and I'm just going to pin everything together to create the uh, cradle. All right, with that done, I'm going to put the workpiece in place. I'm going to make sure that everything is lined up here. Now, I do want to just make sure that I have a level surface. It's, it's rocking a little bit, which means I need to make sure I have everything balanced. And that seems pretty good. So I'm going to grab a mallet. I'm just going to give it a quick tap, and that should give us the location of the holes that we need to screw. All right, with everything in place and my mallet, I'm just going to double check. 
And I don't know if you can see the, the marks there, but everything looks good. So now I'm gonna flip it over and do it on the other side. And there we go. All right, I'm using M5 hardware. So I have a seven 30 seconds inch bit that I'm gonna be using to drill out this piece of acrylic. Moment of truth. There you go. As you can see, this technique takes a lot of the fuss out of measuring. It makes things pretty easy. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for watching.